At Player Technologies, we're creating better situational awareness for the crew of military ground vehicles. We've been working on what we think is a fundamentally better way to provide sensor networks for the military for well over two years now. With the architecture that we're proposing, you can detect the failure of a particular sensor and switch over an alternative. It's capturing and transporting video when it matters. We started our research about two years ago, looking into how the crew of a military ground vehicle operate. We conducted a lot of interviews and we found that their situational awareness is, is pretty limited. And we put our best researchers into coming up with um, a better way for these crews to do their job more safely. Playera's processing products and networking expertise enabled the design of advanced situational awareness systems that reduce cognitive burden and increase survivability for vehicle crew. By developing a thorough understanding of the critical tasks for a reconnaissance vehicle crew before designing any product, we help enable a system that reduces the need for training with easily identifiable icons and intuitive workflow. Unifying video and data streams from cameras and sensors with image processing and graphics overlay capabilities, all of the necessary information is provided to crew members on a single display. They know immediately if something has changed in their environment that they need to investigate. Without even developing any technology, any products yet, really let's try to understand what are the challenges from the user perspective first. In a lot of the older military ground vehicles, there are cameras, but they're limited and they're point to point. So one camera in the front of the vehicle linked directly to a monitor. It's one single line, so only one person can consume that data. If that camera is compromised, so is their ability to see outside the vehicle. We have it designed in a way that another camera can fill in for that one, it's networked. They can't say, okay, time out, I'm gonna go back to base, I'm gonna get a new camera installed, particularly if they're actually in, 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 in the theater of conflict. The idea of being able to swap out cameras easily when needed lends itself to a far safer environment. Using a video system allows you to uh, get um, an outlook of your surroundings without having to leave the vehicle or without having to um, make changes in the vehicle so that you can have that constant surveillance around you and awareness of what's going on. What we're offering is redundancy in the form of cameras and in switches and in all of the technology that we're offering. We've been working with different customers in the defense space. We've been working with users um, in the Army, um, in different military groups as well. We had the expertise with the vehicles, the military background, Playora had the technology, so it seemed to be a, a good fit uh, to come together on some sort of collaborative project. Really, it comes down to trying to understand what are the requirements of the market. That starts with the user. It's understanding, you know, who is that person in the, in the vehicle? You know, what do they do? What are the applications? What are the, the scenarios they find themselves in? What are the use cases? And from there, you build the technology. From there, you build the offerings. It's user experience design, user-centered design, and the way that we describe it at Playora is crew-centered design. If we deliver equipment to the soldier and it doesn't work, they won't use it. They need to be able to process the information that they're being provided to be able to extract, you know, understand that, extract knowledge, and make a determination incredibly quickly. Their life is dependent on this video system. This is seamless. This is in the background. Camera fails, other camera fills in. They don't notice anything. They continue on with their task. I've worked with a number of uh, research establishments, uh, trials and evaluation units, uh, and industry on how better to design equipment uh, to meet the soldier's requirement while at the same time allowing the soldier to be uh, as efficient and effective as they can be. Having been in uh, military vehicle design for about 25 years, um, I've seen a lot of cases where designers have, have created something that really doesn't fit the end users. Starting from the user base is, is really important. In order for UXD to be successful, the entire company has to embrace this uh, methodology. And I can tell you at Playora, it is embraced. You start to develop features and functionality that don't even exist. You're not copying what somebody else built. You're designing exactly what that person needs because you understand that person so well. We've actually built up a whole database of personas, interviewed a lot of people within the industry. We bring in persona representatives who puts themselves into the shoes of that soldier in those conditions. 
and then they walk through the user interface and it's tested over and over again and we actually bring it right back to the soldier. So this idea of creating persona-based design is extremely important and it moves the yardstick um, in terms of creating a technology that suits the end user. We don't design equipment that just works in a lab environment. The, this equipment is designed with the idea that uh, it's not going to be smooth operation, that there's going to be a lot of obstacles in the way of these people getting their jobs done. They gave me some of the personas that they had identified, and then we developed use cases and scenarios as to examples of how the soldier might be using the equipment and then how it might fail. Are they out there for a long time? Are they thinking about whether they're comfortable? Um, are they thinking this is really cool? Power failures, equipment failures, camera failures, weather, all of the different types of weather that can block their view. All those types of things I think are very important to make sure that that technology fits in with them. From the design scenarios, we start to mock up the user interface. We sketch it, first of all, by hand. This allows people to think freely and to interact easily. The ideas are just flowing. You can actually put a, a wireframe in front of someone and ask them, if you wanted to complete this task, where on this user interface would you touch? What would you do next? What would you expect to appear next? The interaction between the end user, whether that's one of the crew members or a system integrator, continues throughout the development uh, of the product. We provide customer service based on our understanding of the customer's needs. Existing local situational awareness capabilities have typically been deployed as standalone systems, resulting in multiple displays, keyboards, and complex cabling within the vehicle. In comparison, migrating to an Ethernet network that unifies sensors, displays, and processing significantly reduces hardware and peripheral equipment. Data, power, and control signals can all be carried over a single flexible cable. The end result? Manufacturers can meet size, weight, power, and cost, or swap C demands for vehicle designs, while vehicle crew members get a single point of reference for all critical information. The way that the system is installed in the vehicles allows for easy integration that the military can do themselves. If, for example, they went to an army that wanted to upgrade a vehicle and they didn't have a lot of money, so other companies might come in and say, well, we can give you new cameras, new sensors, new displays. Playora, on the other hand, can work with the existing equipment, be it analog or digital, and bring their own video capture and transmission technology into play in the most cost-efficient manner to make the upgrade meet the soldier's requirements. The spaces that they work in are incredibly tight. They don't need another company to come along with another piece of technology that adds any more of this hardware and this cabling into their, their already confined space. Rather than rip out all the equipment that people have already spent money for and are familiar with and have maintenance procedures for, Playora can bring modern technology into the vehicle. That's really the benefit of, of the Playora solution. It's a modular approach that you can retrofit into existing camera infrastructures and get you ready for the networking world, for the AI world, and what's to come in the future. So this is going to be really exciting for us. We're, we're pretty sure that uh, people are going to walk away saying, you know, that's fundamentally better than what I have in my vehicles today. Our job here is really to take a look at what's out there in the world, take those technologies, adapt it so that it can make an, a meaningful impact to the defense industry. We empathize with the end users. We care about the soldiers. We care about the work they do, the dangers they face, and we care about the product that we're creating. We have our background in video. We know what the user's problems are. So we have a team here that's going to put everything together to make sure we del deliver the right solution to the customer. If you see something you like, or see something you don't like, talk to Playora. Because I've found that they have been, you know, very receptive at listening to people and incorporating those comments into the development of their product.